Good afternoon, angels. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. I hope that you are all okay. So what we're going to do today is what do they want in the future of you? So we're looking at yours and their energy and where this is heading. My turnaround time is down on readings at the moment. So if you want a book, I would recommend your book now before it goes back up because England's getting a little bit more back to normal. Um, I have a couple of spaces that are just below a seven day turnaround. And then other than that, you are looking about a seven, uh, seven day turnaround. So if you want me, would really recommend kind of booking now. So we've got a new deck, a brand new deck that we're going to use. This one is by Barbara Moore, Barbara Moore, and it is the Wizard Tarot. So let's use this as deck number one. And then deck number two, going back to my heritage, and we are going to use the beautiful uh, Celtic Tarot. So for you and your person, your future, what your person is wanting in the future. Deck number one, deck number two, pick your cards. What piles, what decks are we going to? Number one, number two. Think about your person, feel that energy of your person and pushing it into the deck. As you know, by now it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. So it is a collective reading. And if it doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date because it generally pops up. Um, or if you need more specific details, book a private reading. Okay, number one, let's do this. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Think about your person, let's get into everybody's energy, all your energy, all your people's energy. I'm going into the future today. Spirit just said back to the future, like the film. Do you remember that film? I was only a, a wee dot when that film came out. Um, I used to love it though. Okay. Think about your person, let's get their collective energy on that. Right, I got... Um, I am the one and only, but as I got it, I didn't hear I am, the spirit definitely said you are the one and only. So very, very strong connection coming up between you guys and on your person's thought process, this is the first energy coming forward, that you are the one and only. How ace is that? I love that. Okay, can you tell me please, what does their person want in the future with those watching what is the collective energy of their people heading to the future where we are going and we are using this beautiful new deck what do they want what do they want and we are jumping like crazy which is good energy is very um energetic between you guys very strong pull towards each other what do they want in the future with the people watching? Lots of hand slips. Do they want? And this deck is really, really pretty. Mine's got a little bit of a uh, Harry Potter. What do they want in the future? I'm just gonna get two more. And actually, I'm gonna do some Lenoma. Lenoma, let's just pull a few of these. Uh, Lenoma works very, very differently from Tarot. It works on um, fortune telling. Really, really old fashioned fortune telling. It used to be a parlor game that people would play, um, but they give us very blunt and direct answers. So before I go into your Tarot, I am just gonna pull you a few of these. So what does debt number one's people want from them in the future? One, two. <laughs> Some of you guys are going to be have had smutty conversations by the looks of it. You've been having a bit of a more sexual conversation with your person. Potentially been a little bit of conflict and arguments where you guys have been at as well. Let me just get two more. What do they want in the future? Oh. Okay, so your person is kind of really overstepping their authority at the moment. You might feel that they are the one that is completely in control of this um, and you haven't really had a leg to stand on. Now, if we look at your Lenoma to begin with, we have this kind of communication coming forward. Um, it can be either sexual communication or it's going to be communication that is built on a little bit of conflict. So deck number one, you're probably spilt between the two. And if you're not, your communication is coming towards you. Your person um, 
is going to openly communicate about their emotions for you, talk about their feelings. It's just that it has potentially this underlying sexual tone with you guys. Um, where you both have been at, that is now coming to a close. So where it's been a bit stagnant, things haven't been moving forward. As we go into the future energy, that difficulty, those difficult times, this conflicting energy over here is going to be drawing to a close. And then we have a much more stable grounding coming forward with you both. Now, your person isn't going to have a personality transplant. Please bear that in mind. They are still going to be the same person, but there is a lot of potential happening with you guys. Um, so looking at the cards and the tarot, first and foremost, what they want in the future, we have this two of cups energy. So your person has got... Um, a beautiful connection with you. It is a love connection. Um, sometimes they're not very good at communicating. You might find that you guys are communicating quite openly, quite honestly, um, feeling, you know, beautiful emotions, telling them that you love them. And you might be sometimes being hit with a little bit of a brick wall as they're not communicating their emotions for you. But that doesn't mean that they aren't feeling them. Okay, so going into the future straight up, straight off the bat, we have this love, we have this, I would like to see where this goes. Um, you, if you look in between these two wizards, you have this very strong amalgamation of energetic uh, energetic pull towards you both so very strong energy um lots of fire energy lots of water energy so lots of creativity um inspiration dreaming seeing into the future what they want and lots of emotions involved in this connection they at the moment they're in this kind of balancing act so they're feeling a little bit burdened by the situation right now um, and they're burdened from it because, you know, they haven't really handled things very well. And it kind of comes back over to this conflicting energy over here. You might find that they're blowing a little bit hot and cold with you, that you're not really sure what's going on. Um, and you lot might feel a little bit on guard with regard to the connection. So um, perhaps they're talking to you or not talking to you. And when you're trying to open up, like I said, you're going to be feeling that you're being hit by brick walls. Um, your person has got these really strong emotions for you and they know that they have got to make a choice on this in the not too distant future. They know um, that this connection has to progress. It's what they want. They want this connection to undergo the changes for the two of you to be in a relationship together. So in the future, they can see that this can move forward. At the moment, we do have this little bit of a toxic vibe. Don't take that the wrong way. A little bit of an addiction vibe, a little bit of a um pull push energy kind of spirit just showed me two magnets that you pull together and then one of you flips and then you repel a little bit so you have this magnet energy going on where the connection is so magnetic between the two of you you pull together and then um something can happen or they have their brick walls up when it comes to communicating and you feel like it's drifting apart a little bit and this is what is burdening the situation right now okay However, as we step into the future, like I said, there is going to be a choice on this. There are changes going on. And if you can see the owl at the top of the tree indicating the changes happening between you guys. When we said over here that the connection has to come to a little bit of a close of where it's been, that does stand very much in your guys' energy. So it could be that you'd be repeating a cycle, repeating a loop, or things just haven't been going the way that you want them to go. And um, so for this situation to move into the future, your person and you will have to make a choice on this to leave the past behind and move into a brighter, better future. And it's all in your hands. It's very, very, um, well, the most probable outcome is you, you lot are going to do it. OK, so leaving the past behind, making a choice in it, and then this relationship is undergo un going to undergo the changes. Let me just ask what is going to trigger this change with this relationship? What is going to trigger the change with the relationship? Okay, so what's going to trigger the change um, is when the situation between you guys has been stagnant, where you've been kind of going around in a circle, your person is going to have a little bit of a wake up call, smell the coffee, realise their emotions towards you and make these love centred love centered movement towards you. It looks like something's going to be happening on the internet. So you might see um, that they might see that you've put a post up, which is about them. 
you might see a post that they have put up about you it could be kind of whatsapp facebook anything along those lines how you guys communicate does look to be through the internet um and they are going to be making this sweeping movement towards you so breaking this cycle letting things kind of turn in a more positive direction um and that they're going to be coming towards you most likely through the internet um following on from that You've got nine of pentacles, you've got nine of cups, you've got a lot of nines kind of coming up in your cards. Nine signifying that you are kind of heading towards the end of where history has led you. So history being where you and your person have been moving towards a brighter future. Nine of pentacles over here in a very strong, powerful, abundant position and your nine of cups uh, for all your wishes coming through, your emotions, everything kind of working out for you. So when we're looking at what your person wants and where this connection is going, what they want in the future with you, at the moment, they're a little bit hot, cold, up, down, round and round, and you're not really getting what you want from them. However, there is going to be a shift in your person's energy. And when that shift happens in your person's energy, you've got this strong movement coming towards you and you have got a future with your person. So they do want to be with you. They're just holding fire a little bit at the moment. Reasons why they're holding fire, um, potentially a little bit of uncertainty going on with their energy, trying to work out what it is that they actually want. What pathway do they want to go down? Is this something um, that they want to invest all their money and money? or it's got me a thing, so <laughs> is this something that they want to invest in? Um, but because they have this love for you, it is. The only reason they're really kind of unsure about it is over here with this kind of conflicting energy going on, whether you guys have argued, whether it's kind of maybe been a bit more sexual than emotional. But like we said, your person isn't wanting to beat the same drum forever and ever. They're not going to go uh, just got spin me right round, baby, right round. They're not going to want to keep going round in circles. They do want to break that cycle, break the connect, uh, break the past history that you guys have shared, and move towards a future. So, what your person wants in the future, in the immediate at the moment, they're kind of just playing silly buggers a bit. Once they finish playing silly buggers, change and shift in energy, wanting to be with you, wanting everything to work out between you both. So very strong energy, very strong connection, lots of emotional energy going on between you guys. Um, very emotional, very stable. You really are kind of taking a shift out of the mind energy. So where you and your person have been very much of the mind, and what we mean by that is in your thoughts, thinking, overthinking, spiralling, stepping, you're going to be stepping out of that mind energy and you're going to be stepping more into an emotional energy, which is going to be an emotional communication energy between you guys. Your person is going to feel a little bit vulnerable when they communicate to you about their feelings. Um, but once they've kind of, let's say, ripped off the band-aid and done the first kind of talk about how they are feeling, they're going to find it a lot more easier to communicate their emotions towards you and their feelings towards you. And so therefore you can move into a brighter future. Like I said, they're not going to have a personality transplant, um, but there is a major, major shift that is going to be happening with you guys. Major shift happening with you guys. Um, and they're going to be feeling a lot more stable and secure over the connection by letting the past go. Okay. Um, Again, kind of coming back to that vulnerability as well, Spirit is saying, when they do open up to you and they show that vulnerability, you might find that they backtrack a little bit to begin with um, and say, oh, you know, kind of get these walls back up, but the walls will start to gradually fade, okay? So they are going to let their, their, lay their weapons down and this connection can really shift, really positive, uh, very strong emotions for you wanting a future just kind of holding fire on it at this point in time and that is deck number one so if you need me just drop me a message like i said turnaround time is down really good time for you lot to book uh whilst you can and uh, i will speak to you all super super soon um stay safe look after yourselves and lots of goddess blessings your way bye darlings okay guys deck number two let's do this so we're going to look at you and your person and what are they going to be wanting from this connection in the future. So it's quite interesting to go into the future energy. I ended up pulling some Lenoma for deck number one. So I've put the Lenoma down for you guys as well. So think 
about your person. Let's get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. So there looks to be quite a bit of history with you and your person as I'm kind of coming into both of your energies. Um, there does feel to be a very strong bond, very strong connection but also a lot of history. Um, and I just got, and I don't even remember the lyrics for this, so it's for all your, your emo kids back then. Um, history by Funeral for a Friend. Do you remember that one? Oh, I really don't remember it. Um, but what they're saying with that is just kind of the title history that you guys have got a lot of history between you both. So can you tell me what is that person going to want from the people watching? In the future what are their people wanting from the people watching in the future i love this deck. it's one of my favorite I, I mean i have i must have like over 300 decks but this one you always kind of go back to the ones that you love don't you and this is one of my favorites there's a lot of kind of um depth to them what do they want from the people watching in the future? So I've got um, Lady Gaga, that phone one, the one where she picks up the phone. Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm kind of busy. So your person might have been a little bit of a fill in the blank in the history of the two of you. OK, so there's a there's a lot of a past energy. There's a lot of things that have happened between you guys. You, potentially your person hasn't been that great towards you and it's left you feeling a little bit. Spirit saying unhinged, like unsure. OK, so let's just do your lemma. What do they want in the future? What are the people, their people going to want for those watching in the future one? There feels to be a little bit of um, regret coming up with your people over here on how they've handled this situation. They do feel bad. They do feel bad about what's gone on between you, between you both. Oh. So whether you're in contact, whether you're not in contact, there is this sense of um, regret. Okay, so we have very much a kind of journey happening between you guys. So at this moment in time, they might have cut the connection off. Their behaviour might have been a little bit dodgy. Um, you might have felt that they've tried to manipulate the situation, might have felt that you're not really sure what is going on. Um, and they've kind of cut off their emotions towards you right now. It's not going to last. I can tell you that straight off the bat. It's not going to last. So from this, from them kind of cutting off the connection, you have got things kind of moving forward in a more positive light. And there is success coming up in this relationship between the two of you. Success kind of moving to anchor. Anchor being, um, like I said at the very start of this reading, um, Lenormand was a parlour game and it was called the game of life and whenever you got the anchor card it was the most positive card in the whole of the Lenormand deck so what you're going to be doing is you are moving into a more positive time a more successful time of your person and you're winning at the game of life so really positive outcomes for you guys um, and a lot more emotional stability a lot more emotional support with you and your person okay so it could be a little bit dark at the moment but that dark darkness is you soon going to shift to light. And you just, uh, I just got one of my favourite songs. Um, the It was sung by The Hush. Um, I think it's called The Hush. Or the song is called The Hush. Um, and it says, all of us get lost in the darkness. Dreamers learn to steer by the stars. It's my Instagram, uh, on my personal Instagram. It's the headline on it. Um, if you want to add me on my personal Instagram, go for it. It's just my life. Um, so you can find that. So, uh, with you and your person and what they want in the future, we have a very, sorry, spirit are really <clears throat> coming into my energy. When they come so strongly into my energy, it really starts to affect my throat. I can try, I do trance mediumship as well. So sometimes my guide comes really, really close and starts building into my energy. So we have this very strong sexual energy with you and your person. OK, and this could be part of the reason why you're feeling that maybe they've been a bit manipulative. Maybe they've been using this situation to get what it is, what they want from this very strong, passionate sexual chemistry between you guys. 
okay? And that's left you sometimes, even though you enjoy it and you absolutely love it, it's left you feeling a little bit like, well, where is this going? What does my person want? I really don't know what to think of this. Now, your person um, has got very strong feelings for you. They aren't really happy with how they've handled this. Again, this kind of feeling of being fed up coming up over here. They're not, they do have a sense of regret that they've been looking towards what they thought was the right thing for them to do. And when they realise, they're going through this kind of process of realisation at the moment. And through that period of real, realisation, they're realising that you are the one that they want to be with. Okay, and there is that process of rebirth happening here. So they've been looking towards things that they thought they want and kind of spirit saying missing a trick. They missed a trick in the fact that you are standing kind of right next to them with the cup over here. You're right next to them. And they're realizing now um, that perhaps they haven't handled the situation right. And that kind of comes back to the Lenoma over here um, about the suddenness between you guys. It could be that you've had a bit of a blip, a bit of a tower, big tower, little tower, things just going a little bit wrong between you both. So your person at this moment in time, right here, right now is going through this transformation and this realization so they can see the pathway towards you they can see uh, a light at the end of the tunnel they're coming out of the darkness and um, learning to steer by the stars perhaps maybe tuning in a little bit more to psychic intuition or what they those of them that are skeptics wouldn't see as psychic intuition they would see that as their own perception you know um so it's starting to see that there is a pathway towards you now they do have a little bit of a block up still let me find out what this block is let's just pull one more what is the block that's stopping them moving it would have to shoot over the floor in the always way. Yeah. So the block that they have over here is that page of wands. Again, kind of coming back to the sexual energy. They don't know how you uh, perceive their actions. So a little bit worried about what you were thinking, what you've been feeling about them, and is there a chance that this can move forward? So having a bit of a realisation, realising how they've acted and wanting to change that energy around around you both um but a little bit unsure about is it going to erupt um how are you going to handle it what would come from the situation so that is what is blocking them however we have this breaking this breaking of this cycle very strong um shifting and changing um we've got wilmington Big shout out to Wilmington, my loves, um, on the sun card over here. So breaking the cycle, seeing a future with you and having rebirth. And this is looking around spring and summertime. So anytime now, really moving, shifting, changing things, moving forward. Your energies are aligning with each other. Um, your duality, like the male and female, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but when it comes to duality, it's the polar opposite. So male, male, female, light, dark, good, bad, right, wrong. There has been a kind of a disharmony with that energy, but that disharmony is now aligning into a cordial connection, spirit of saying. How deep is that? So your energies are aligning with one another. You've got the light coming down on the difficult times that you've had. Um, your person is starting to be aware that there are shadows to always, there are always shadows created by light. So when the connection has been really beautiful and really strong with you, the shadows have been what is frightening them. Okay, because the shadows, the love, the happiness that you two share created a darker side to your person because of fear. But they're shifting out of it, which is really, really positive. You know, um, again, kind of coming back to this history side of things with Wilmington being brought up over here. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Wilmington on uh, on the Internet. If not, go and Google it. Long Man of Wilmington. Uh, stone figures into the hills. OK, very historical energy with you guys. Probably a lot of past life energy going on with you both as well really kind of coming back to that sacral chakra energy so a lot of sexual energy coming forward as well if you want children and a family with your person you can absolutely have that okay your person can have you you and your person can have a family together if that is what you want really that is what they're going to be wanting into the future and again family energy coming up over here the kids, the mum, the dad. And if it isn't what you want, it's the family that the two of you are together with your dog or your cat or just the two of you. A very, very strong connection. It's been a journey and the journey has been a bit turbulent, but this water, this turbulent emotions are now starting to ease up. 
they are still going to have their guard up a little bit, Spirit are saying, but with the kind of right connection, with the right teamwork between you both, it will work out. There looks to be a bit of jealousy on your guys, on, on you lot watching, uh, a little bit of jealousy, wondering what they're up to, are they seeing someone else, what's happening? Um, your person doesn't want to betray you. It looks like they haven't betrayed you. It's just that they've been a bit of an idiot and kind of blocked the pathway, but they're going to be moving forward together with a bright new shining future. Got the horses kind of coming up in the background, as I said to one of my mates um, before, there's this beautiful, beautiful quote that dogs look up to us, cats look down on us and horses see right through us. Um, and so your person can see, you can see right through them. OK, but a lot of new beginnings happening over here. So at the moment, it's been a bit dark, but this dark is giving way to the light. Spirit is saying you're going to go through this process of rebirth. They're a little bit unsure about how you're going to act when they do communicate with you. You know, are you going to be angry? Is it going to kind of go back to the sexual way? But what they want in the future with you isn't just the love connection. They want the family. They want the whole family unit with you guys. Um, and like I said, if it isn't, you know, about the two of you having kids or having dogs and cats and things like that, it will be the wider family as well. So aunties, uncles, summer parties, all of that kind of stuff. Timing on this, when things are going to start shifting, like I said, spring, summer. So anytime now, anytime now, you're going to be moving into a much more emotional, stable, secure connection between you guys. And you're going to be winning at the game of life. Really, really positive. So what they want from you at the end of the day is they want a family. They want a family with you. They want you in that pentacles energy, in that stable, secure, earthly, grounded family energy is what they want. And they have been a bit fiery, a little bit sexual, a little bit more passionate. But they're shifting, big shift happening because they don't know how. Um, they're scared of losing you. Yeah, Spirit saying they're scared of you, scared of losing you. They don't want to lose you. So they're going to come towards you and offer you what it is that you guys want. Um, and then you lot watching can decide whether this is actually something that you want or whether you you decided, well, you know what, it's took quite some time. I'm not really sure if it's what I want anymore. But what your person is going to be wanting in the future is that family with you. That's beautiful. And that is deck number two. So I said, as I said at the start, my turnaround time is down at the moment. If you need me, drop me a message. Um, I'm sending tons of love to you all. Look after yourself. Uh, stay safe in these difficult times. Things are starting to ease up a little bit in England now. Um, so hopefully we'll be kind of back to some normality soon. And I might even get to see my nephew, who is now four months old and I haven't seen him yet. Um, but hopefully things will be shifting very very soon so stay safe and i will speak to you all soon lots of goddess blessings your way my lovelies take care stay safe